Hey, hi everybody. I'm Sterling, uh, sometimes Eduardo, and you are learning American English with me. Someone asked me the other day to explain the difference between a possessive pronoun and a possessive adjective. Well, uh, I don't like to talk about grammar so much. I like, I like to demonstrate grammar. It's, it's a lot easier. It's more natural that way. And it's super easy. If you already know Spanish grammar, you already know the answer. You just don't know that you know the answer. Because, well, grammar is grammar. And don't forget, we're not just learning about English grammar, we're learning about grammar. Or maybe you're just reviewing grammar, I hope. But in any language, by any Western language, I, I don't know about many languages, in many, in, in most languages, there is a possessive pronoun which is used as a pronoun in a sentence. That means it can be the subject or it can be the object in the sentence. And there is a possessive adjective and it's used as an adjective. And that means that it belongs in front of a noun and it's used to describe the possessed nature of the noun that it's describing. It tells who the thing belongs to. So for beginners in English, I think you need to look at the, lang at the sentence that you want to say in your first language and then decide what to say after you look at the grammar. So uh, first, let's list both possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives in Spanish and in English. And to help me demonstrate some things, I have my friend Bob here from Texas. Uh, you might remember Bob. I don't know. The guy with the nickname, uh, Bob, will be here in a minute. But okay, first, in Spanish, in Spanish. Mio. El mio. Mia, la mia, tuyo, el tuyo, tuya, la tuya, suyo, el suyo, suya, la suya, el nuestro, los nuestros, etc. These all act in Spanish the very same way as possessive pronouns act in English. In English, the equivalent words are mine, yours, his, hers, ours, theirs. And these words play the role of either the subject or the object in a sentence. They always are either the subject or the object of the sentence. Mine is here. Yours is there. El mío está aquí. El tuyo está ahí. On the other hand, we have me as in mi cosa, tu as in tu mano, su as in su coche, nuestra as in nuestra cena. These words all act in Spanish the same way as possessive adjectives act in English. In English, we would say, that's my thing, that's your hand, that's his car. That's her car. That's our dinner. These words all go in front of a noun because they're adjectives. And this is why adjectives belong in English always just before the noun. And they show that that noun is possessed, owned by someone. And it makes no difference if you're speaking Spanish or English, both types of words have their equal words, their equivalent words in both language, both languages, Spanish and English. So you might ask, how do you remember which words to choose? Well, listen to this uh, little dialogue. It's a little conversation, almost an argument that, that I had with my friend Bob the other day, we, we were in a store together, and Bob likes to drink beer. 
and Dos Equis is his favorite brand, and we were going to buy some Dos Equis, and I was too. But Bob wanted it really bad because that, that's his favorite beer. And I wanted to get some for, for my refrigerator too, but there was only one six pack left. And so we had this, uh, this little sort of argument because they were almost out of Dos Equis. There was, there was only one six pack left. So I'll show you how this uh, conversation, I recorded this when I was talking to Bob about it afterwards. So let me show you how that went. Hey, hey, uh, Eduardo, why, why wouldn't you give me that Dos Equis when we were back in the, in the store yesterday buying beer? Because, you know, it was mine. It belonged to me. It was mine. Well, no, Bob, it, it wasn't yours. We hadn't paid for anything yet. Remember? It still belonged to the store. It was theirs. And besides, I saw it first. I could have said, hey, it's my beer. I could have claimed it was mine, but I didn't. Did I? Well, no, you couldn't. Well, I should say you shouldn't have said that. You just said that. You just said that it wasn't yours yet until you paid. It wasn't yours yet. Well, you're right, Bob, but I didn't say that, did I? What if that big lady with the grocery cart and, and the three kids had, had taken it first? Then it would have been hers, right? It would have been her beer then. Isn't that right? Well... No, Eduardo, it would not have been her beer. It would not have been hers. It would still be theirs. It would still be their beer. It would have been the store's beer. Still, she would have to pay for it first. Then it would be hers. Then it would be her beer. Ain't that right? Okay. Okay, I guess... That, that's fair enough, Bob, but it's okay because I bought some Corona Extra instead and you got the Dos Equis. That was fair and that, that was nice of me. Right, Bob? Yeah, I guess. I guess. You got what you wanted. I got what I wanted. I guess I should just say thank you, Eduardo. Thank you. Oh, sure, Bob. <laughs> sure, Bob. No problem. No problem. Okay. Did you see? If you aren't sure, if you're not sure, then, then just think this conversation out in Spanish first and then watch it again. Watch it several times. Watch it in the context. Listen to what Bob and Eduardo are saying to each other, then probably you won't be confused anymore about my and mine, your and yours, there and theirs, our and ours, and all the things like that. There also is in that conversation some uh, should have been and some could have been, maybe I might have been about because the conversation was about uh, something that happened in the past. So you, you can practice that too at the same time. Now, I'm going to give you just one more guideline to help to remember which words are possessive pronouns and which ones are possessive adjectives. And it's simple. The possessive adjectives are the shorter words and the only ones that end in S are its and his. My, your, her, his, her, their, our car, our dinner, our telephone. 
whatever. And the possessive pronouns are slightly longer in all of them. And with S, except for the word mine. Mine, yours. Hey, that's mine. That over there is yours. Hey, that thing over there is hers. This here is his. That's theirs. It's not ours. Okay. So now go practice your English and I hope I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.